Hey, hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Welcome in, welcome in to the live. Such a beautiful day today. At least here it is where I am. Hope you guys are doing fantabulous. My chair is all crooked here. I'll get my chair straightened out. There you go. So my feet won't be in the way of the little things at the bottom. How are you all doing today? <coughs> Lord, let me turn my volume down over here. I know y'all can hear that. Let me turn that down. I always have it up. I try to keep remembering to turn it down before I start. It never happens. It never happens. Okay, let me get back over here. Let me share it out while we're waiting for a few minutes. Ah, I just want to come on for some chit-chat. Chit-chat. Yes, I have finally gotten all of my seedlings um, and seeds that I'm going to plant for going into summer or spring and I'll be planting more um, in late spring and summer for fall but for now I was so excited I was so excited to have all of them planted that has been rough <laughs> I'm not sure I want to start with seedlings ever again how are you doing the sweet spot Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, lady. How are you doing? Thank you for coming on in. How are you? Yes, I was just saying I finally got all of my seedlings from out of this house <laughs> and into my garden. And I'm not so sure I want to start seedlings inside again. The last, this is my third year gardening. The last two years, I did not start seedlings indoors. I did start some tomatoes indoors, and that was it. The rest of the stuff, I direct sold. Just working on my new set. Okay, all right. So you're rearranging your plants where you have them on your balcony. You have beautiful plants, girl. I don't know what you're feeding those plants. <laughs> And I don't know what you're doing over there, but your plants are doing really, really well. Everything that's leafy green is leafy green. And I saw those strawberries. I'm like, oh, I hope mine grow this year. <laughs> yes, the seedlings are a headache. I don't like the. I don't either. I don't mind direct sowing. I do see the benefit of having seedlings. When the weather breaks, hey, Edward, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in to the live. Thank you for coming. I do see the benefit of having the seedlings uh, when the weather breaks and you can finally go outside. You do have that jump because if you when you wait until the weather changes to direct sow, you still have to wait for it to germinate, which might be anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks. So by having the seedlings, you got an edge on that time which means your harvest is going to come sooner. Um, thank you. I use banana water and work, work castings. I love autocorrect. <laughs> I know you meant worm castings. <laughs> I just ground up some eggshells for my tomato. Okay. You know what? I need to, and I just threw out my milk jug again. I need to get a container. I need, because we always have bananas. I need to start keeping those bananas. And is that all you do for the banana water is put the bananas in something and fill it up with water and let it sit? Is that it for the banana water? Because that's what I'm thinking from what I've been reading so far. Um, I pretty much just use 511 mostly. Autocorrect. I know, right? <laughs> yes. Tell me if that's how you make your banana water. Is there something else that you need to put in it, do to it, or how long do you let it sit? Um, from what I've read, people let it sit like 24 hours at least before they use it can you let it sit longer as long as it's closed up really tight can you let it sit indefinitely um on the banana water hey tashi how are you welcome in welcome in how are you how are you thank you for coming in thank you for coming in uh yeah so i'm not so sure i don't know what i'm going to do but I my I guess my biggest problem with the seedlings was that I had them everywhere. I don't have a dedicated room and or space to be doing indoor gardening. 
So I had some here. Y'all saw the, the thing where I didn't even have grow lights. I had some up under one light. Had some over here. They were all over the place. And they were driving me crazy. <laughs> yes, for three to five days after that, I put the pills in my compost. I want to try 5-Eleven, but it smells here. and it's <laughs> But it's small here and it stinks. You know what? It does smell, but I guess it doesn't. the smell doesn't linger. The smell does not linger. That's the good thing about it. It'll smell for a little bit, and then it's it's gone. Um, and I don't have a compost. I don't have a compost at all. That's something that I probably should have, but I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. Um, if everything keeps growing... <laughs> I may never get there. You know, I'm going to have to have quite a few things out there um, and in desperate need of a solution. And I know I would need the compost first, but you know, like if I have a season and things don't go well. But so far, things have been going well and I ain't had one. Although I know the benefits, fit, benefit of them. But um, maybe because, well, you everything you have is in containers too. So I was going to say maybe because I feel like that because it's in containers. I don't know. I really don't have room for it, but I wanted to try it. I know. Now, you're talking about the 511 smells and you got a small space. I know. I keep reading and researching, and I hear these people talking about compost don't have to smell and what you do, but I just can't get out of my head that it's going to smell, and it's going to attract more creature features that I'm trying to get rid of as we speak. Now, I can tell you for sure this year, uh, last year I used the peppermint oil to get rid of the squirrels, but I did not use it like I'm using it this year. Um, I just put a little bit where I thought maybe they were or came, but then they would go to another plant. But this year, I got peppermint oil in every last single one of my containers. Seeds definitely take over the insect. Yes, they do. They do. They do. And I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, hey, we back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. I hope I'm not buffering for you all anymore. Yes, let's see, the compost don't smell. I was shocked. It's just the bugs, these nets. That's another reason why I don't want to do them. How do you use your peppermint oil in your containers? Uh, Tashi, I got a whole video on it, but what I did was, and I don't have any insects, I took them outside. I take the, uh, the little sticks. Well, you're supposed to put it on cotton balls, first of all. And uh, what I had read was to take cotton balls, saturated with, not saturated, but put some peppermint oil on it. It has to be 100% pure essential oil, not the kind that you use for aroma in your house. But it has to be 100% pure essential oil. I put it on the cotton ball. And then, you know, the little stick things that look like uh, yard signs that you can write your, with your, um, you know, what you're growing, like tomatoes, lettuce, and stick it in the ground so you can identify your plant. I put the cotton ball on that and stick it in the ground so it'll stay there. And then I just take and shake a little peppermint oil on it. Well, I got about three or four of those in each container. And guess what? Now, what I was told or in research and read was that the it, it, it deters rodents of all kinds. That's one. And other things, but rodents was the big thing because a squirrel is a rodent, and that's the rodent I was trying to get rid of. That after they smell it so much, they just don't come back. So I put it everywhere. And there was a nut outside on the path to my deck, but there was no evidence that that squirrel was on my deck at all, anywhere. And not in my containers. There was not a piece of dirt disturbed. So my guesstimation is it smelt it and it left. I don't even see them like last year. I'd see them running all over the rails, running out, just running rampant out there, taking over. I have not seen a squirrel anywhere near my deck this year. So far, not since I put it out there. Now, before I put it out there, their little tails was bushy and shaking all over the place. I haven't seen them now. Yes, 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 yes. If anyone has any trellis ideas for a small area, I am all ears. Um, 
you know what you could use. Ah, let me see. I've seen your balcony. I'm seeing your balcony. You know what you could use, and I'm not sure how wide they are or how big they are. Fencing. Um, fencing. I'm trying to think of what kind. You've seen fencing that's actually made out of like a plastic or a resine. Um, sometimes they're white, but you can see through them. They have holes. They're like crisscrossed like this. You probably can get it at Home Depot or something like that. They probably can cut it to size if you um, measure your space. But that would be good. It would be something that's easy, doable, pretty, and you shouldn't have to do anything but sit it up against something. Uh, you could even, since it's got holes, so you could even tie it to the existing rail that goes around so you don't have to put any holes or anything in it. That would be one. Um, hey, Pitts, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for coming, Pitts. Um, that would be one thing I would use, think about for a trellis. Uh, also, a ladder. Um, you could either leave it folded. Uh, they also have those ladders that you see. Um, they're not the regular ladders. They're not the A ladders, or the regular ladders. Library ladder. That's what they're called. They're library ladders. You know, you see these ladders and they slide across, but they got the steps, but the steps are kind of even and they slant them out. That will make a beautiful trellis as well. Now, I don't know how much they cost because <laughs> I don't have one. But you ain't asked about that part. <laughs> yes. You did not ask about that part. Yes, yes, yes. And I know you I saw on my, um, on my, title giveaway announcement um i am going to be putting up a video probably this weekend first of next week with all the details of how the giveaway will work but what i've decided to do is i'm getting ready to give away some seeds i got seeds coming out the yin yang <laughs> and then trust me a lot of these seeds i'm not gonna use because guess what i don't like the food when I first got started, and even now, if there is a sale on seeds, hoard, it's like whether I eat it or not. I'm like, oh, look at this picture. Oh, look at this picture. And, and see, uh, <laughs> at the end of last year, there was a sale on seeds, and they were $0.10 cent a pack. Child, I had to have about 40 50 pounds. <laughs> I don't know. I got more seeds than coming out the yin yang. I got seeds that I've ordered. I've got seeds that I've harvested. I've got seeds that I just bought. I got seeds. I got seeds. If y'all saw that video about how I store the seeds, I got too many books of seeds. Okay? So, I decided, you know what? Instead of letting these seeds go to waste, somebody else might want them. So, I'm just going to have a giveaway. It's probably going to be more than one. I'm going to tell you the first one, my plan is to pick five winners. Uh, I'm going to put up the video saying how you guys can enter, what you need to do to enter, and when the actual, I'm going to do it by random picker. I can tell you that much. Um, so it'll be something where you'll have to leave a comment or do something like that so that I can enter all that into the random comment picker. And I haven't decided if I'm going to pick the winner on live or if I'm just going to do another video and pick the winner that way. I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it. But the first one... Um, I would probably be, I'll probably do it two or three times a month until I run out of seeds, which may be never. I'm telling you, Lord knows I got seeds coming out the yin yang, and I am not going to plant that stuff. There are some things that I do eat that I have the seeds, but I maybe eat it once or twice a year for the work that it would take for me to plant, grow, harvest, maintain. I can go to the store and buy it and eat and fix it and eat it. It's just some things aren't worth it. I want to grow things that I want to eat a lot of or I eat a lot of or I'm constantly buying a lot of herbs because I cook a lot. Uh, tomatoes, I love tomato sauces and paste and I want to start making those things. My berries, if I can get those berries to grow and I can get some more berries growing, my strawberries, I will be making some jams and some jellies and things like that. Um... 
but y'all so y'all want y'all to be on the lookout for that video coming up uh and i'll have all the details and everything in that that's what i'm going to do uh do we get to pick the seeds we want i don't know if i'm going to do that or not i thought about that um what I might, because I don't know, one thing I don't know how to do at work, and maybe y'all have a suggestion, I don't know how to do that fairly, okay? Um, because with the random picker, of course, you would think the first person gets to pick, but they were the first person to win, and I could have a set of seeds that I would have for this give. okay, like, I'm giving away these five seeds, out of these five, which do you want? I might do that. Um, but I have to have some way of having a control over it, which that's a good thought. And I would like that because that means I'm not sending you something you don't want either. <laughs> so that would be good. But I'm not exactly sure how to do it yet. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. Because y'all know I'm open for suggestions always. But that would be awesome. I would love that because that means you all would get what you want out of the out of the group. But how do I do it fairly? Uh, like I said, of course, the first person out of the random picker would have to be first in choosing. And then that means the last person kind of gets whatever. But I guess what I could do also to, hey, BB, how are you? Thank you for coming in. How you doing? I guess what I could do also is, since I have tons and tons, I could say, okay, I have five winners. Here's 10 different types of seeds. Out of these 10, which do you want? That means that last person will get to still pick. It's got to be fair some kind of way. So I'll think about that between now and the time I do the video, but that's I would love to do that. I would love to give choices. Yes, yes, yes. And I may just do that. I may, And I may not do that. Um, if that's the case, I will probably do the random picker. And then when the person contacts me to claim the prize, I would email them or however the communication is, be it Instagram or however it ends up being. Uh, okay, I have, you know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato <laughs> seeds available during this group out of these which which you like that's that's that might be a good one yes that might be a good one oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah so that's the plan for that and like i said i probably do it if i don't i probably do it a couple of times a month because I, I don't i don't want to hoard these you know i want them to go to good use because they can go to good use so that's what that's what i like yes 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 and we got 12 people in the building, although I don't see 12 people, but we have 12 people in the building. Please hit the thumbs up because we have eight thumbs up, 12 people in the building. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So would you all like some seeds? <laughs> tell me that. Tell me that. Tell me that. If you all don't want the seeds, let me know now. If they all think this is a good giveaway, a good thing to do with the seeds, let me know that as well. Because that's the plan. That is the plan. I don't have anything to do with them. And um, direct sewing is, I think, is going to be my thing. I got to figure out either I'm going to have to get a dedicated place because those seedlings this year, they drove me crazy. Not only were the nets, I didn't have very many nets. Hey, Carolina Roots, how are you? How are you? All right, Carolina Roots. Yes, 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 yes. Free seeds is good. Excellent, excellent. Do it. <laughs> I hear you. The sweet spot said do it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that is the plan. I am going to do it because I want to get rid of them. And I'm constantly getting them because when I go, if they're on sale, my thought process was I might need these. I might want these. Get them, get them, get them. I mean, when you can get seeds for 10 cents, and that's another thing, by me growing in containers, my seeds last forever. My seeds last forever. Because I'm only growing a small amount. I'm not growing in rows and rows and rows where I'm going to use up all these tomato seeds. Or all. My seeds last me forever. And I'm pretty much growing the same thing with the plan to add on a fruit 
or a new vegetable each year or switch out something. I see, you know, you, you see what works best. Oh, and I am so aesthetic. I shouldn't be telling y'all this because I got a video coming. My turnip greens have finally started going to seed. Here I am talking about seeds and giving away seeds. And here I'm getting some more seeds. This will be, I will be, har this will be the first time I've harvested seeds from something that I've actually grown. Yep, 10 cent. So when they 10 cent and they go and sell 10 cent, I get as many as I can. Sometimes I buy them out. So I might as well give them away because I'm not going to use them. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> mm hmm Yes, where do you get 10? Oh, different stores around here. I'm in California. I'm in California, child. I must be having a senior moment. I'm in California. I ain't nowhere near California. <laughs> I'm in North Carolina. Different stores have them for uh, 10 cent. Um, at the end of the season, they have what they call the end of the season. You know, we don't have end of the season. Uh, or some, some people do, depending on where they are. But you can grow something inside if it's too cold outside. So... We really, technically, there is no end of the season. You can claim an end of the season. Hey, Mama Ray Ray, how you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome into the live. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Uh, she says, yes, I almost cried when I harvested mine. Half, happy, half, out. <laughs> I don't have a problem with allergies, but I'm not exactly sure how to harvest these turnip green seeds, but I am going to because my turnip greens were absolutely fabulous. They were amazingly delicious. And so I know I've got a good crop out there. So I'm harvesting those seeds. And they're going right back in the ground, probably mid-summer, so I can get a winter harvest on them. I want this year, I got to figure out when to exactly plant my seeds. This is going to be a timing game for me on those, go, on those green seeds. Uh, and if my red mustard greens grow, because they awful slow out there, but okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be patient with them. I would like to have my own harvest of greens for the holidays, like Thanksgiving. Even if I can't have them for Thanksgiving and Christmas, I just want a humongous amount of greens for the holiday that I grew. Don't ask me why that particular thing, but I do. That particular thing, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the plan. And yes, I get them for 10 cent. And I, like I said, I clean up. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You can't just leave them there. It's like, no, no, no. Yes, I got some romaine seeds. I'm waiting on the spinach now. Your seeds be doing good. They do good. They do good. They will shoot up when it gets warmer. Mine got big at the end of Oh, really? Now, I thought greens, well, maybe those are, but I thought greens were more of a cool weather, um, cool weather crop. So, you mean they're going to, I know, because a few of them have poked their heads through very tiny, but I was like, I expected them because they were cool. I thought they were going to come on up, and I was praying I had enough cool weather left, but maybe they will be doing their thing during the heat <laughs> and pop up at the end of the season. Yum, I want to have green and her cabbage every week. Yes, that will be amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Caroline Ruth says, making my rabbit amendment listening in. Okay, yes. And that's another thing. I have a list of, of things over here that I will be planting throughout the summer for a fall harvest. Um, and cabbage is one of them. Cabbage and I'm not putting my, I think it's going to be too hot. I'm not putting any cabbage out there. I, the sweet spot, I don't know how you're growing that good old cabbage like that. That, I, I haven't been able to grow cabbage yet. I must be doing something wrong. But maybe I'm planting it at the wrong time. But my thing was, I was going to plant it probably uh, mid-summer to late summer. Am I doing it? Am I planting it at the wrong time? Or am I doing something wrong with it? They are, but I've noticed mine getting big at the end of January. Then shortly after they went to see, oh, no. Yes, that's why I thought they were a cool weather crop. So I don't know what they're going to do, but I got a whole container full of them out there. It's in the shade. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, you know, I still got, like I said, I don't use all my seeds. And that's another thing. Once I learned how 
to use the seeds, <laughs> I started having even more seeds. I When I first started, I just went out there and put some seeds out, even in a container. And it grew, but it grew not enough because everything was so bunched up. So now I realize two seeds here, two seeds there, two seeds there. Child has seeds forever. When I bought my red mustard seeds, I got a thousand of those little bitty seeds. Now, you know, I ain't used no thousand seeds. So if I don't get a good harvest now, I'm going to redo it midsummer for a winter crop. Hey, Janice, how are you? Thank you for coming in. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. So I have more seeds than I can handle. So y'all getting ready to get them. <laughs> yes. And I think I will, I'm between now and the time, like I said, I'll probably post that video either one day this weekend or the very first of next week. Uh, Cause I want to go ahead and get them to you all. Um, and that video will be where, whatever you all have to do to enter. And during that video, I will say when I'm going to do the random picker. And after that, they'll be shipped out to you. I'm going to do a video about it soon before we get to the nineties and hundreds that we use in Houston zone. Yes. Yes. Good love that cheese steak video. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I want some more of that. <laughs> I can have one of those sandwiches tonight, honestly, but it's all gone now. So that won't be happening anytime soon. That won't be happening anytime soon. Mama Ray Ray, have you started your lemon tree? Have you started your lemon tree yet? Yes, I'm trying to get Mom Ray Ray to start a lemon tree because she eats about 100 a day, so she need her own tree. She needs her own tree. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yes, I was looking at that cabbage. Please do a video on it. Please do a video on that cabbage. I would love to know what you're doing to it, how you're doing it. Um, Because I have not, and I love everything. That's what I have. I'm going to wait. That's right. I'm waiting on that, too. I have, like, everything in the cabbage family. And Brussels sprouts are just, like, my favorite. I love Brussels sprouts. Yes. I need to see that video. I was just talking about a Philly. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's on my other channel if you're not connected to it. Chef and more. Yes. No chef, not yet. Come on, Mama Ray Ray. Get some dirt. You got plenty of seeds. <laughs> Because you eat lemons all day long. So you got plenty of seeds. You don't even need to do. You don't need to wash them. You don't need to do anything. My lemon tree is growing pretty good out there. Yeah, I showed my husband the Philly cheesesteak video. And told a couple of people. Oh, thank you, Pitts. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I could use something like that tonight. I did not cook today. I haven't cooked anything today. I actually have been in my garden all day. I planted everything else that was in my house today. I took a couple of videos of a couple of things that I was doing out there. But I planted every other seedling that's out there because we should be no lower than in the 40s. And that's only for a day, maybe here, the day, maybe there. Outside of that, our lows are, are down to the 50s and 60s, so I'm good. I am good. That's the normal here. Uh, that's the normal here. I'm surprised it's been in the 80s. The weather's good. Yes, that's another thing. We can no longer depend on the weather being what the weather is, and we can't depend on the weather man's word. Not that, the, not that, not that they're trying to lie to us. But at the end of the day, they don't really know. Come on now. They don't really know. They do not have true control over the weather. They really don't. Yes, love sauteed Brussels wine and almond slices. I just need to get seeds. Yes, I have some seeds, but they are a cool weather crop. And that's the thing that's bothering me is the struggle in my head to wait. The struggle in my head to wait. Hey, Angela, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. I have the struggle that, oh, I need to get this. I want to eat it. I want to get it planted. I want to watch it grow. But if I do it in the wrong season, it's not going to work. So I have to learn that patience. And child, for those of you all who don't know, patience is my Achilles heel. I am so, so, so. So, 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 <laughs> impatient. 
Y'all would not believe. That's the reason why I like to cook. I do bake, but I don't like to bake. Because you have to just... You can't taste it. It's just raw dough, raw something. You don't know if it's going to taste right. And then you got to wait all this time for it to bake. Then you got to wait for it to cool. Child, need me a spoon and dip it in the pot. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, 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 yes. They can handle the shade. What can handle? Oh, the, I don't have, that's the thing. The only shade I have is before the sun come up <laughs> and when it goes down. I don't have any shade. The sweet spots is laughing. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. I don't have any shade. I got, that's why I plant most things that need full sun, six to eight hours or more. Full sun. Because, I don't, like I said, the only shade I have is really before the sun comes up, which on my deck, for where I am, I'm Eastern Standard Time. So, my deck is good before when the heat of the summer comes, my deck is good before 10 a.m. Right now, my deck is good before 11 a.m. Uh, right now, at 11 a.m., here comes the sun. And right now, my deck is pretty shady. It's about 6.30. So between 11 and 6.30, I got nothing but full sun. I do have early morning shade and I have evening shade, which I, I really like. And I don't know what... I don't know what um, direction my deck is facing. Like, I don't know if it's a south-facing deck or whatever, but for the area I'm in, I'm going to find that out because I need to know. I need to know because I'm looking for a house with a yard because I want some trees. I want some fruit trees, and I want a greenhouse. And I, my yard is a steep hill, so that's not happening. I need to know where this faces because, for me, it's actually perfect because I'm I'm a morning person. So I like to get up early in the morning, go out with my coffee, and then I can get up early, be out there and done by 10 or 11, come on in. And if I want to go back out in the evening, the sun's not beating down in the evening, too. It's got that that's perfect middle-of-the-day sun. Yes, it's true, but I like baking. Mm -mm. And I don't have a sweet tooth either, so it don't bother me that I don't like baking. <laughs> I mean, I like I like cakes and pies and all that stuff, but I, I ain't craving it. Give me some salt. Now, I like ice cream. I might crave that, but that's it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You can do melons easy on that hill. Girl, no, I can't. Let me tell you something about that hill. <laughs> she said, I can do melons. Who going to go down there and get them? Let me tell you something. That hill is so steep. Do you know we cannot get anybody not i don't care how professional they are i don't care how unprofessional they are we can't get nobody to cut it people come over here we've been trying to get somebody because my husband actually cuts it with a weed whacker and it takes him a complete day to cut one hill because it's so steep he got to be so careful not to fall they won't take the equipment down there great about playing nothing on that hill and then got to tend to it got a water got to go down there and get it mm -mm. child no and because when we go down to the bottom of the hill, we need each other to get back up the hill. <laughs> you got to hold on to something. You can't be carrying no watermelon or no melon. <laughs> Child, no. They will fall down the hill. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Mama Ray Ray. They will fall down the hill. It ain't no. That slope is awesome. That slope is awesome. That slope is dangerous. <laughs> that slope would make a good slope if we were somewhere that it snowed a lot. And people could slay it, although they'd slide down into a fence and a ditch. But <laughs> that's the kind of, shh, or a ski slope or something. That's, ah, no, I can't do that, though, that slope. Mm-mm. A <laughs> child, no. BB says, baked fish, barbecue shrimp, and cast iron skillet, buttermilk, honey, cornbread. Baking is my jam. All right, now. I don't want to bake nothing. Hey, Bree, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Yes. Oh, no. Abort the mission. <laughs> exactly. I'll be calling. You'd be like, the sweet, could you come over and get these melons on this hill you told me to plant? <laughs> Eating dinner. All right. Yes. Have you started doing any gardening yet, Bree? I know you said you wanted to do some. Bring it to Michigan for the skiers. Yes. That's what it's good for. That is what it is good for. Because otherwise, mm-mm. 
Ain't happening. Wouldn't be happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I need a flat yard. And it doesn't have to be, when I say I need a flat yard, it doesn't have to be completely flat. I mean, you know, it could slope a little bit, but it's got to be walkable. I mean, seriously, walkable. It can't slope no more than the sidewalk pavement would slope if you walk in. You know, mm -mm, it can't slope no more than that. Nope, not yet. Haven't had time. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, drinking this water. But yeah. And I would love to do melon. I'm going to try to do melons in one of these containers. <clears throat> I got some watermelon out there. <clears throat> Excuse me, so far it's growing. We'll see what happens at the end. I know I can't have no huge harvest of watermelons in, in a container. But if I can just get one good watermelon, I would probably then, uh, at least when I move, I would do a raised bed, I think, for melons. I would do a raised bed for melons. Yes. We're eating while watching you. Okay, Angela. Wish I was eating some. Y'all know I'm hungry. Usually I eat before I come on live. I didn't do that today. I've been working. I'm working right now as we speak. I know you always working, Bree. You either getting off work, headed to work, or working. <laughs> yes. Those are the those are the three things that you normally are doing. But that's all right. Working is good. Working is real good. Mm-hmm. What you eating over there, Angela? What are you eating over there? So, yes, I'm going to, like I said, if I can get one watermelon out of this container that I have the watermelons in, I know I'm going to have to thin them and do all this stuff, but I need, I need something to grow and stuff. But you know what? I did grow a watermelon last year, but it was about this big and squirrel or something came, knocked it off its vine. And nothing else grew. So I did have one that started growing last year. Just bought an elderberry key lime and knockout rose from a local farm. For th that was good. That was good. That's a good purchase. I love knockout roses. Yes. Aren't they pretty? Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, I had a discovery today when I was doing my garden. Janice says, I'm doing all containers this year because MD will have locusts, don't like bugs, or crit. I know that's right, me either. That's good. I tried literally five times last year to grow watermelon. I'm trying again this year. Yes. I'm trying again this year too because I lost my little one. And I it didn't even have a picture of it before I lost it. Yes. I need a local nursery. I'm tired of Home Depot and Lowe's, LOL. Yeah, you, local nurseries are better. They're much better. I'm eating lobster mac and cheese, Cheeto chicken, and a spicy shrimp Caesar salad. All right, girl, y'all really making me hungry. <laughs> y'all really making me hungry. Yes, I am trying my best to get a watermelon, too. Um, it's just a type of rose. It's just a type of rose. Yes. So... I hope to get that watermelon at least. I need to get a good size watermelon this year. I just need to, because if I can grow a watermelon, I'm be in my heaven. I'm being that's that's the gold star for me. <laughs> that and cabbage. I want one. Y'all seen those people that harvest those cabbage? Matter of fact, the sweet spots. You got some big heads in there. I want a big head of cabbage out of my yard. A big head of cabbage and a watermelon. Woo! Garden State Gardener. Thank you, Gardener State Gardener. Welcome, welcome to the Scary Cat Crew. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, everything I planted got eaten by hornworm caterpillar farmer's market this year. Oh, you need... Now, I had... They were terrible last year. But you need to get you some BT for those hornworms. Oh, my God. I was destroyed by them last year. Yes, the aphids got me last year, but I was out of season with watermelon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, guys, welcome in Garden State Gardener. They're new to the channel. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you. Yes, we love more people to the Scaredy Cat crew. <laughs> 
Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I have got to get that melon going on. If I can get melons going on. Oh, and my blueberries are... Now, that's the new thing for me this year. Uh, everything else out... Well, you know what? The red mustard greens are new to my garden, too. But I did grow greens before, although I know they're a different kind of greens. But the berries... Well, I grew strawberries before, but the blueberries... That's my new thing this year. I said every year I'm going to try to uh, grow something that I've never grown before, uh, that I need to grow, want to grow. I'm excited about my blueberries. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited. I grew some cabbage last year, used the stalk from store, bought cabbage. Oh, did you? Did you? What did you do? Just take the outer leaves off and cut or did you just cut that very small part off at the bottom? Talk to me, Janice. <laughs> Talk to me. I like that. I, I love the idea of growing from the plant. Like celery, just cutting the bottom off and sticking. I love that idea. I want to learn to grow as much as I can from the act. Not from seed, not from seedlings, but from the product. That is what I really, I enjoy doing that. I like doing that. And, you know, when you get a crop, you can save one or two and put it back in the yard. Mm-hmm. And I had a really good harvest of garlic this morning, too. Y'all will be seeing that harvest of garlic. Because I had one container that had uh, quite a bit of garlic in it from last year. But I needed to use that container to plant some other things. As a matter of fact, I planted beets in it today. So I took all my garlic up. I could have left it in there. And it could have kept growing, but I figured I got garlic in every last single container out there now. <laughs> I can let this garlic go and bring it on in. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's the, that is the goal. That is the goal. So, oh my goodness. Tell me, Janice, how did you do that cabbage from cabbage? Wow. I think that's amazing when you can do that. That's why I like the go that's why I like the onions that I've done. Like I've done so far I've done celery, which last year the worms kept getting the celery started growing and the worms kept getting to it. So I'm going to be oh, that's what I started to tell you all. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get some more celery going. I got some potatoes out there from potatoes. Uh, I got lots of garlic out there from garlic. I'm going to try to do another celery stalk. And I regrew the bottom of a cabbage in water. Knot was big, too. Knot was big. That was big, too. I ate it Sunday. Ah, you ate it? Did you take no video of it, girl? Come on, now. Yes, yes. Cut the stalk off. Put it in water. A little. Wait for roots. And a few leaves. Then plant in your... I'm going to try that. It was bigger than I thought it would be. I'm going to definitely try that. But today, guys, when I was out there, y'all can probably see a little snippet of this. <coughs> or at least a picture so posted. If y'all connected to me on uh, Facebook, if you're not, please connect to me on Facebook and my Facebook group. So you guys can post pictures or videos. Even if it's just, even if you're not doing videos, you can post pictures of your harvest or Whatever you want, if you got a question or something like that. If I can't answer, I'm sure maybe somebody else can ask. It's container crops over on Facebook. But today, um, I had a pot. The pot that I took the garlic out of, that's what it was. I also had a little bitty piece of, little bitty turnip left in there. Little, little bitty turnip left in there that it started to yellow. So I just pulled that up because I needed the entire container. So... I was pulling my garlic up. I had harvested all of my garlic. And up with the garlic came what looks like to me a walnut, which I imagine might have been buried from that squirrel. But maybe the squirrel never came back because of the garlic. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I took a picture of it, but the thing about it the thing about it is, it had split open and roots were growing out the side of this. It looks like a pecan. I have no clue of what it is. But what I did, I replanted it in a whole other pot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It looks like a pecan. But it could, it could seriously be the seed of almost anything. It, 
because there's no evidence of a nut inside of it because it's a root coming out of it. And the root is coming out this way. I took pictures of it. So you all will be able to see the pictures of it before I plant. Then I, I stuck it right back down in the ground. I stuck it in there sideways where the roots were coming out this way because that's the way it was dug up. If it is a pecan, maybe it'll grow into a pecan tree. If it's not a pecan, it's going to grow into something. Hey, hey. I got something out there. Hey. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Chef, do you have a bird in your house? No, Mama Ray Ray. What you are listening to are the birds outside. I have my windows open. <laughs> she said, you got a bird in your house. Girl, you got some good ears. <laughs> yes, Spot was so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, but I sure replanted it. Because the roots were thick. The roots were about this thick coming out the side of it. And they were beige, and they were about this long with this round thing right in the middle. So... I replanted it. Why is my chat? Why is my chat stopping over here on my computer again? I don't know why it's stopping over here. It better reconnect in a minute. Am I buffering to you all? I don't see my chat on my phone or my computer. Hmm. Am I buffering to anyone? I don't see anyone. Hey, Weekend Garden Show, I see you not buffering. Okay, good. Unable to connect. Okay, it's my computer over here. I'm going to just refresh this thing because I can see the chat. No buffering. Uh, somebody just said something. I couldn't see what they said. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, how come? Oh, let me see. The Weekend Garden Show. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. It is telling me my computer has no internet. And I guess it may be, and I guess if so, that means my phone is running off of my 4G, which is fine with me for now. Um, okay, here it comes back. I don't know why I disconnected from the internet, but I like to have it on my phone, on my phone, my computer, because I can just see it better. I can see it better. Let me see what else. Let me see who came in. Let me see what happened. No buffering. Okay, good. I'm glad you all weren't buffering. What state are you located? Oh, and you got the moose. <laughs> I'm in North Carolina. Yes, I am in North Carolina. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad y'all not buffering. Yes, yes. And as a matter of fact, because you asked me that, it reminded me. I try to do this every time I go live, even though some of us are here that are here before. But there are a lot of people that aren't here. Oh, Lord, I'm sounding crazy now. Would y'all put your zone in there in your state? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm saying this big old whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm sounding crazy to myself. So I know I sound crazy to y'all, but that's okay. That's okay. Put your zone, if, if you don't mind, put your zone and st zone slash state. Because some states have, there's more. Why am I getting mixed up? What I'm trying to say is some zones are in more than one state. Boom. See, I figured it out. Now, <laughs> some, zones are <laughs> some zones are in more than one state. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Carolina Roots Zone 8B, South Carolina. We got South Carolina 6B, New Jersey. We got Maryland Zone 7. I'm in Zone 7B, North Carolina. We got uh, Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7, Texas, 9A. All right. And we got Zone 11, Hawaii. Yes. Oh, yes. I love that. I love that. I love connecting to people from all over the country and the world that's gardening. Because what I've come to realize is that some things are uh, 9A, Las Vegas, the pits. All right. By way of New York City. Yeah, there you go, there you go. We got 7A Pennsylvania in the house. What I've learned is that even though we have to garden by our zones and what grows well in our zones, there are some things that no matter where you live at tend to work. So I always tell people, share your experiences and, you know, share different things that you learn because it may work for somebody else. Just because, 
like Edward. He's in Hawaii, but that doesn't mean he might tell me something he did, and I might try it on my end, and I might have to try it a little. I might have to tweak it a little bit, but you get ideas, and you can get things going that way. That's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. Yes, awesome sauce. Yes, I'm in Pennsylvania 7A. All right. Yes. See, we got we got a good uh we got a good group in here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. That is amazing. Thank y'all for doing that, for putting that in there. For putting that in there. That is gonna be awesome, awesome and amazing. Yes, yeah, so that's my, that is my plan for the giveaway, guys. For those of you all who just came in here, I have seeds coming out the yin-yang. So I've decided to give them away and have the giveaways. I'm going to have the first one. I'm going to try to do them maybe twice a month uh, until seeds run out. But I don't think my seeds will going to ever run out because I got a problem with seeds. Every time I go in the store, I'm buying them whether I want to plant the thing or not. And I'm also harvesting seeds. So... Uh, I decided what better way to give back than to just give them away because I'm not going to use them all. So if I don't use them all, and I know a lot of seeds can last them several years, but some of these things that I have seeds to, I don't eat. I have no interest in eating. I ain't never ate it in my life, except for when I tasted it, didn't like it, ain't going to eat it. <laughs> it was something like okra. I do not like okra, period. I have had it in many ways. I've had it fried. I've had it when it wasn't slimy. I've had it stuffed. I've had it, and I keep trying it. But when I try it, my mind goes to slime. I'm just being honest here. I don't care how not slimy it is. It's up here, and I know it is. But my mind goes to slime. When I see it on the plate, it's like, Okay, I'm getting some slime here. I'm go get my granddaughter slime and eat it. <laughs> That's the way I feel. So, come on now, I ain't eating okra. I have seeds like that. Time to get rid of them. It is time to get rid of them. Yes, yes, yes. So y'all make sure y'all got the bell on. Y'all can y'all can make sure you uh, check that. Don't like it. Eat. See, Janice says she don't like it either. See, I ain't by myself. I'm a, I got a lot of seeds like that stuff that's like, and I'm not a picky eater at all. I will eat and taste just about anything except for certain bugs. They're supposed to be roasted in chocolate. That's to be desired. But if I went to a country and that was the delicacy and everybody was eating it, I probably would try it. Once at least. I don't know if I would if my mind would get in my way. Now, if somebody gave it to me and didn't tell me, now I thought I'm eating this nice little piece of candy because <laughs> it's a chocolate cover, some kind of bug. <laughs> I'll probably be okay. But as soon as they tell me, it's going to be like, oh, sooky, sooky, now what you tell me that for? <laughs> I know the sweet spot. <laughs> I know, right? That's the way I feel about it, too. That's why I say if they gave it to me and didn't tell. But, you know, I'm I'm inquisitive about the things I eat. So if you hand me something, chances are I'm going to either pick it apart because I cook. I'm going to really pick it apart or I'm going to ask you. And you can lie and I'll probably eat it. But <laughs> I've been growing peas two years, still haven't eaten one. Just something for the bugs and chickens. Okay, well, that's good. I don't want the peas either. Now, I do like beans, but I... I like beans and I like a variety of them, but I'm not going to eat them more than once a year. So I might have them. And navy beans are my favorite. But, you know, pole beans and all that, I might eat, eat it once and I'm done. I'm just done. Give me some cabbage. I eat it every day. <laughs> no worries, Angela. No worries. Yes. You'd have to trick me, girl. Try this peanut brittle. <laughs> yeah. Same here with me. You got to trick me into eating it. Yes, you do. And then I'll probably be sending them to myself. So, mm -mm, this is good. Oh, sookie, sookie. Now I need some more. And then y'all tell me what it is. I'll be like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. 
I can see myself liking it too. I can. Yes, I can't get peas to grow. The weather been too up and down. I like them on sale. Now, I do like green, just a little sweet green peas. I love those, and I like them frozen. I like to take them, and they're frozen, and just eat them with a snack as a snack because they're really, really nice and crispy. I don't need anything on them or anything. I do like those a lot, but all the rest of those Think shell peas and this kind of peas and that kind of peas. No, thank you. Becoming Janesha. Hello. Oh, my goodness. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you have been blessed. Did you finish school? Last time I talked to you, you were going to school. But I know a lot of things happen. Did you finish? Oh, it's such a blessing to see you. How have you been? It is such a blessing to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, 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 yes. So I do like those peas, but for as far as all the rest of them, and then they work because after you harvest them, then you got to shell them. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want something easy going. Yes, I'm doing good. How are you? Not yet taking off a turn. Okay, all right, all right. Well, with everything's going on, it's probably best you taking off anyway. Yes, it is. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Yes. So I like those two. But and I like uh I like salads a lot, but I prefer cooked vegetables. I will take my spinach and saute it quickly or anything. I'll take any kind of vegetable except for lettuce <laughs> and pretty much saute it quickly. Uh I just like cooked vegetables better. I like the taste of them. Um better than I, I like raw vegetables unless you're gonna give me some broccoli with some dip mm. hey. <laughs> i know y'all say she crazy yeah pretty much but <laughs> give me some broccoli this regular broccoli with some dip all i need is a movie child <laughs> That's dinner right there. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yes, that's dinner right there, and I'm done. Yeah, I love broccoli. Yes, I do. I eat broccoli about three or four times a week. Sometimes I get up and I just cook some broccoli, and that's breakfast. I don't need anything else to go with it. And I and the thing about it, it's so versatile. You can put so many different seasonings on it. You can put cheese on it. You can put nothing. You can put lemon pepper on it. You can put you can make ranch seasonings on it. You can put just garlic and onion on it. You can just roast it with a little olive oil and a little sea salt on it. You can just eat it plain. You can eat it with a dip. You can eat it with a ranch dip. You can eat it with blue cheese dip. Oh my goodness, did y'all see that fried broccoli video I did on my other channel? Heaven in a pot. Ooh, that stuff is good. Just some fried broccoli, like people fried cauliflower. Try you some fried broccoli, especially if you like broccoli. You may never go back. <laughs> yes, you may never go back. I like both. I just got like this, though. I love, I, I love, love, love me some broccoli. Now, I see it. Cat, now, cabbage and, and Brussels sprouts, on one hand, are my favorite. But give me the right piece of broccoli, and that, that cabbage might have to scoot over a little bit. <laughs> Do you eat Chinese cat? Yes! I wanted to grow some. And I think I got the seeds, and I forgot about it. But you know what? Can somebody tell me how long do I have to wait for those turnip seeds before I can get the turnips out of there and get the seeds? It. Anybody that could tell me that, how long do I have to wait before I get the seeds? How Do they have to dry up, like withered, dry up? When am I supposed to get the seeds off these turnips? Because, you know, that's a whole bed that I got waiting on planting things. I forgot. I forgot about my bok choy. Mm. Yes, I do. Love it. Yes. Man, you reminded me. I need to write that down. I forgot. I don't know if it's time for me to plant it, though, or not. Do I have it on my list? The stuff to plant? No, I don't even have it on my list. Oh, my goodness. Let me write that down. I need to plant. I got the seeds. See, I told y'all I got the seeds coming out the yin-yang. I don't know what seeds I got and what seeds I don't have. 
Jesus, Lord have mercy. Thank you, Weekend Garden Show. Yes, thank you for that reminder. Yes, I'll eat salad every day for whatever reason. I put all my vegetables in salad. My husband does that. Everything goes in there besides the kitchen sink. I'm like, no. Nah. And then he puts fruit on top of it. His salad's be that high. I'm like, really? <laughs> Chinese broccoli kale is my new favorite green. Yes, I like kale too. Kale is okay. Now, kale is something I really want to use in my smoothies. Uh, and when I make my smoothies, I don't use an extra smoothie ba base. Some people say I'm not making a smoothie because I really don't add milk to it of any kind. Every now and then I might. But my smoothies consist of nothing but the vegetables and I make green tea for my liquid. And I just blend it to smithereens. When I want creaminess in there, I'll add a banana. I always add a little bit of spoonful of peanut butter to your green smoothie. Oh, sookie, sookie. Now, I need to make a smoothie on my other channel. I've never done that. I think, make a smoothie. I'm going to make a smoothie, y'all. <laughs> make a smoothie. <laughs> y'all know I have to write everything down. Yes, 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 yes. We can go and say, sure thing, you can plant them this fall since you're waiting for spring. Okay, boom. I'm, I'm going to put that down there fall crop because I love them. Yes, I do. I want to grow some exotic stuff so bad. I'm even hanging bags to get space. That would be good. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Tuber Chat. Hello, hello. Welcome in to the live. How are you? Thank you for sharing on Reddit. Thank you, Tuber Chat. I appreciate that, Tuber Chat. Reddit is something I have been trying to learn to use for like three, four years. Every time I go over there, people tell me... <laughs> I try to participate, and people tell me, you can't participate until you have 15 points or 10 points, or you have to give more than you get. And I'm like, well, I'm answering people's questions, and I think I'm upvoting them, but I have been trying to learn to use Reddit. Thank you for sharing me on Reddit. I love that. Yes. Yes. That's one for the books. That is one for the books. Yes, 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 yes. And I would like to grow some exotic fruit. That's why I can't wait till I can grow trees, fruit trees in the yard. And I hope this is pecan that's growing. Y'all, do y'all know if that's a pecan and it grow? <laughs> I like pecans. <laughs> yes, that's a good recipe. I use almond milk now, but I used to use green tea or hibiscus tea. Yes, hibiscus tea, yes. Yes, green tea, hibiscus tea, any kind of tea, any kind of tea. Yes, but I am going to make a smoothie. I'm, I'm going to, because I haven't done that. And I'm pretty sure, I know a lot of people uh, were saying that they didn't want to make smoothies because it, it was dairy and on whatever diet they were, like keto, they weren't supposed to have any milk or anything like that. And they weren't crazy about all of it. I'm like, I don't put any milk in mine. It still comes out smooth and creamy and green. <laughs> yes, we have our own subreddit where anyone can share their videos. I just use Reddit because it's quick to share for others. Oh, well, what is your subreddit so I can get over there and 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 post my videos? Where would I go? Could you put that in the in the stream, please? I'm going to put that in so that I can. Since you said anybody can post their videos. I would love to do that. Yes, hibiscus is awesome too. Yes, it is, Mama Ray Ray. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I love hibiscus tea. Oh, my goodness. With a little lemon. And you know what other tea I like a lot? Basil and lemon. Oh, my God. That's delicious. That is delicious. Thanks. That's good to know. Tuba check. Connect and grow. Yes, it is. I just want to know what the name of the subreddit is so that uh, we all can go and post our videos. We need exposure, people. People, we need to watch. Everybody in the chat needs to watch videos because we all need at least a 1,000 views. So we can post our videos where people will watch them. That's amazing. 
That's amazing. Subreddit. Let me write that down. Thank you. I'm so glad you came in and told us that. Yes. Oh, it's your name. Okay. All right. All right. Pitt says that's right. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. And try. I tell everybody. A lot of people talk. A lot of people will tell you. I am not on YouTube to get paid. I'm not on YouTube to make money, and that's fine. If you are, that's great. But I bet if they pay you, you ain't gonna send it back. What you think? I'm just saying. <laughs> if they send you a check, you're not gonna send it back, now are you? If they automatically monetize your channel, you're not going to say, oh, no, demonetize me. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I am not doing these. Now, I am growing because I want to grow. I cook because I cook. Cooking is my passion. I will cook whether I'm on YouTube or not. I will grow whether I'm on YouTube or not. But if I'm sitting there doing these videos 24-7, and editing them and posting them. I am not doing those for my health. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. I'm being honest. I, I am not doing it for my health. <laughs> I'm going to shampoo Ginger. I'm going to shampoo. <laughs> I'm going to try shampoo Ginger as my exotic plant. It's pretty and medicinal. I got to give it a try. I don't know what shampoo Ginger is. I've never heard of shampoo Ginger. Pitt says, right. I know, right. The sweet spot says, oh, sounds fancy. I know. And, and I know the editing. If You know, we could just, that's why, I'm, you know what, I do more editing on my Chef and More videos because I have to edit those because, you know, like when you're cooking anything, there's a block of time that's just like, you're just waiting for it to get done. And sometimes a lot of that gets captured in there. So you want to take that out. But on Chef and More, I edit them just a little bit. I edit them enough to put the little funny characters in there and stuff. But it is what it is. And y'all will see one of these videos I did today. Oh, it was when I found the pecan thing. <laughs> y'all gonna see me jump. I almost ran. I'll tell you, I'm scared of everything. All I know is I'm supposed to be harvesting garlic and something brown with white things come jumping out there at me. Child, it was that pecan or whatever it is with the roots. Y'all, I'm leaving it in there. Ain't got no time to edit this thing. Anybody got the kind of time? to edit all that stuff it's gonna be in there it is what it is yes i need to learn reddit and tiktok i guess i'm on tiktok i got tiktok pretty much down and it's okay i don't do, I, I usually don't post my gardening videos on tiktok but i post my food on tiktok it's okay it's it's, it's growing i mean I, I get okay views i get more views <laughs> get more views over there and i get over here truthfully yes how to garden hello hello how you doing welcome in thank you for coming yes how to garden says i love my shampoo junior um use it to clean my hair all the time uh oh it grows red pine it grows red pine one looks flowering that you squeeze to get a liquid smell like ginger and you wash your hair with it pine cone Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. Shampoo Jen. Hey, Murad. Hey, how you doing? I ain't seen you in about six months. How you doing? I hope you've been blessed while you've been away. I'm going to have to Google that. Let me write it down. Let's see, I, I got a pad over here. Broke Farmer 76 pad. I got my pad. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google that so I can look at a picture of it. Shampoo Ginger. Yes. Yes, hope you've been blessed, Murad, while you've been away. It's so good to see you. Yes, Murad's been with me for a long time, guys, a long time, on my other channel at least. Yes, I'm doing fantabulous. I hope you are too. Yes, I want one now. This plant thing isn't a... That's why I have the seeds to give away. I have the seeds to give away. Because <laughs> it's addictive. And I like the seeds because they're cheap. And so, you know, I go buy tons of seeds. And when I do want to plant something, oh, sookie sookie now. Yes, I haven't been live much. I've been doing videos only. Okay. Yep. I tend to try to go live once a week over here. I don't go live very much on Chef and More. But I do go live over here trying try to go and build a solid foundation of having a live every Wednesday evening. Um... And then one day, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to have two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand people in my life on Wednesdays. <laughs> oh, 
weekend guard show says facts. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, with YouTube, it's all about being consistent. So I'm being consistent or I'm trying. Yes. In shade, OMG, now I have to buy one. You must be, oh, Shampoo Junior grows in full shade. Oh, hmm. I don't have any shady spots like that. My whole deck gets at least six to eight hours of sun. There is no spot on it that I can even remotely move that to. There's no, no, I don't even have a spot anywhere, front or back, to get, I get that kind of shade. Oh, I might have to miss out on the, um, I might have to miss out on the shampoo ginger. But I'm going to look into that because I could use some shampoo ginger for my hair. Yes. Wow, I remember when this channel only had 20. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, mommy time. How you doing? How you doing? I remember too, Mirad, when it only had 20. Yep. Yes. And I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to be posting that video this weekend or the first next week. And I'm thinking I'm going to select five winners. I'm going to have five winners for that video. But if I reach 1,500 subscribers before I do the random selection, I might do 10. I might do 10. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, Murad, I remember that too. Janice says, what about the front of your house? No, ma'am. It just alternates during the time, like my back, uh, like right now, since spring is here, um, it's like shady up until like about 10 or 11 in the morning. And then like right now, it's shady. It's, it got shady about 6, 6.30 back there, about 6.30. The rest of the day, it was full sun. In the, mor the, in the morning time, when it's a little shady back here, full sun up front. And, but the, the sun up front kind of stays a little longer till maybe about noon or one. Then we might get just a tad bit of shade. Then here come the sun again, like around three or four. I'm sitting smack dab in a sunny spot. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Murad says, I was the third person connect to you here. I, re I remember too when I started the channel. Yep. Yes, sir, you were. Yes, you were. Bye, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Love the chat. Thank you, Garden State. Be blessed until we meet again. And thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, 23rd spot, LOL, not three. Uh, I don't know if it was three or 23. I knew you was one of the first ones. I, you know what? I take that back. I do believe it. Well, you're right. I do believe you're right. It was 23rd because I remember I was on live on my other channel and I was telling people that I had started this channel and everybody was going over to connect to this channel at that time. So I remember that. All right, Mama Ray Ray, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Start that lemon tree. Be blessed until we meet again, Mama Ray Ray. Thank you so much. I'm not going to be on here too much longer. It's past an hour. I don't want to keep you all too long. This has been very enjoyable. Yes, this has been very enjoyable. <clears throat> So, yes, I just wanted to come on and chat a little bit with you guys. Um, and hopefully, as I grow, uh, I can continue to spread knowledge. I can continue to tell you guys what I'm learning as I go, what I did wrong, what I did right, what works, what doesn't work. And I hope you all will continue to share that with me as well. Yes. I saw her the other day, too, Murad. I saw her the other day, too. First time in a long time. First time in a long time. Yes, yes, yes. So, guys, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here myself. Go get myself some dinner. Thank you all so much uh, for coming and hanging in there with me and talking. Hey, Yvette, how you doing from Zone 7? All right, we got Yvette from Zone 7 in the house. Yes. Hey, hey, how you doing, Yvette? Is the video post? No, it's not posted yet, Janice. I won't post that video until this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to get it up this weekend <clears throat> for the giveaway. Yes, I'm going to try to give it, get it up this weekend. Yes. Um, <clears throat> all right, uh, Murad. Yes, yes, yes. So everybody be on the lookout for that video, for the instructions, for the giveaway. It'll probably be posted this 
uh, weekend, no later than Monday or Tuesday of next week. But I'm going to try to get it up either Saturday or Sunday. That's the plan right now. That's the plan right now. I just want to make sure I have all my um, I's dotted and my T's crossed in what I want to do and how I want to do it. Yes, 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 yes. So that being said, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me during this live. Oh, Canadian Proud it says, hey, my friend, thought I'd stop and say hi. All right, thank you so much. We're just getting ready to get out of here, but I appreciate you coming through. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you guys have not thumbed up the video, please do. Please do, please do know the video of the strange play. No, I just found it today. I just found it today, and I'm not sure that I'm going to actually do a video of it. Well, you'll see it because it's in the video what I jumped from. So, yes, you will see it. Um, thanks, Edward. Uh, but, no, I haven't. I just did. I just found it today. Yeah, so I have to edit the video a little bit. <laughs> not much, but I got to upload it. So, you should see that one soon, too. So, keep an eye out for that as well. And guys, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail.